What I want to do is try to do a Lalo guide once a month. So it's been about a month since I've done one of these videos. So let's go ahead and do another one here. Let's go and jump straight into Legends. I know I'm not that high in Legends, just at the lowest point. But either way, hopefully you guys do enjoy these videos of me, especially drawing on them. If you do, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content. And if you really want to see other types of Lalos, let me know as well. But okay. Here's this first space. We don't have it completely, obviously, maxed out. It's a box space. This really, Super Bowlers works really well on this one, but let's give this a shot as well to try to take it down. I've taken some notes probably from Stars when he hit some box spaces, so this is what I want to do. I want to send my blimp into here. So let me go and do just that, and then I'll try to explain after that, after this point. So once I get this um, blizzard down, because I don't have much time, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, blimp, blimp. Land in the right spot. Okay, it didn't land in the right compartment. I was off by uh, a, a tile. So uh, that's going to be a little unfortunate there. Let's go do another invis. Okay, so I don't think I have to do any more invisibility spells at this point. Expo goes down, and they're going to step into the tunnel poison and die off. So let's go ahead and drop you here. And then we'll drop the uh, king here to take you out. Drop uh, queen. And so, okay. So now that we uh, cleared this, what we're going to do, I'm going to drop a poison spell and then deal with uh, kind of drawing. So here's the circle, right? What I like to do is take out a chunk of the base like this. So essentially kind of like, I wanted to get into here and take a little bit more out. And then if you see the circle like that, then here's the chunk. Now I want my heroes to come from this angle or this angle of the base. I'm sending them from the top side so they can go for the enemy queen. So now if this chunk can go down, so I have to drop an ice golem, I have the super wall break right through here, and then if I can ch take this chunk of the base down, pop, let's pop this king ability, then my Lalo will come in from this side of the base and move my way around, and then headhunters can directly target the RC. So let me go ahead and drop the royal champion to extend that kind of angle. So if you see, so this was the original uh, stuff I want to take out. Here's the new angle with the heroes, and here's even a more of an angle with the Royal Champion. The only thing that's left is to move my way around. So I do have an invisibility spell, which I do recommend you to use on your heroes. I don't recommend. Also, you want to make sure you get that down. And then what about the time? Let's go and pop the RC ability. How much time should I start my Lalo? Well, definitely not a minute 13 left. What I recommend is about like a minute and 30 seconds is when you want to get your Lalo moving through. Granted, this is not the not a maxed out base, so I should be okay. Uh, Warden, make sure you go down, drop some headhunters, drop the invisibility spell for the Royal Champ, and here we go. We're moving our way through straight across. We'll go and freeze this core right like this. More balloons. And I know it's not a maxed out base or anything. Let's go and pop the Warden ability to protect the RC. And, and so I'll try to draw a little bit more. Let me just drop these balloons, drop all my troops and stuff and uh, spells so it doesn't change all that. But essentially... This was my Blizzard value. This was my hero value. This was my raw champion. And so then what I wanted to do, I'll do it with a different color, have the Lalo come in from this angle, like this, around the edge. You want to try to think of it like little pies out of a circle taking out, and I'll try to draw in my next attacks as well. It's, it's really hard to be multitasking as well as I'm doing this, but hopefully you guys still enjoy them nonetheless. All right, so here's the next face that we've got. And let's draw that circle, right? So let's go ahead and put a circle on the map. Oh, uh, if I can draw a better circle, you know? All right, so now we have to send the blizzard, which I recommend typically sending in for the town hall, is always what I always look for. We have a sweeper here. We have another sweeper here. We have a queen like this. So if we actually land uh, over here, we don't need a lava hound. We can take out this chunk of the base like this. Then we can send our heroes down the bottom side because then we can take out the royal champion. So let me go ahead and do just that. Let's go and drop some balloons. Some more balloons here because of the angle I'm thinking. Then we do an invis right on through here. Boom, boom, rage, land. Okay, so let's go and take this out. And let's see where they step. Okay, pull out some uh, super minions. Let's go and drop the invis like this so they can like turn around, get the scatter shot. And then that goes down. Let's go and do another invis. Oh, are they gonna damage the CC or, or take it down? Enemy queen is still up. Well, let's drop the baby dragon over here. Drop a poison spell like this. And we can drop one headhunter to try to maybe snipe the queen. Oh, and she's dead. Perfect. All right, so now we drop the king. Drop the king here and the queen behind. Okay, so now that CC is being taken care of, I can draw a little bit more. So this was the chunk of the base that I took out with my blizzard. 
Now, let me do a different color. I'm going to send my heroes from the edge of where my blimp came in over towards here, right? I'm going to send my royal champion to go behind to try to take out single that single, maybe. I'm going to drop a super wall break like this, right? Let's go and drop an ice golem, maybe to lead the charge. I can maybe super wall break over there, which will help push the queen in. And here goes the royal champion. So, king's ability. Oh, king, I want you to loop your way back to the enemy RC. Come on, king, come back. Oh, I didn't funnel properly here. Okay. It's okay. But, so, this is now the new section of the base. So, this was original, right? Here's the heroes taking out this part of the base. And now I can come in with the Lalo from one of these other sides. So, do I have any more invis? I don't. So, the Royal Champion, I got a minute 26. What do I, when do I recommend to start the Lalo? About a minute 23. If I can take this eagle down, I'm gonna... Well, you definitely want to start earlier than me. So, I'm just trying to draw everything. I'm gonna come from the top side. One, because the Hound can uh, hopefully... Oh, my goodness. Pulling all these traps, drop some minions through here. Okay, so this guy's got everything up here, trying to guard that. Let's drop the hound across. I like to drop about three to four balloons per defense. So keep that in mind if you're trying to keep track of, hey Carbon, how many balloons do you drop through the through the base, like as you move your way through? So the reason why I allow from the top side is because I was able to take that eagle artillery down, and then I can pop this warden ability as the kind of the balloon split. Drop the headhunter, or drop that for cleanup. We can drop some archers. We can drop a you, drop a wizard. We got free spells for days. Obviously, it's a super easy base um, because everything was kind of uh, close together for the super wiz. But if you could take the town all down, that's what I recommend to do with the uh, blimp and the blizzard. And then you kind of cut your way through the base, kind of like the uh, circle and wedges. We've got the town hall into the middle here. So what do you do with the town hall in the middle? We want to take a look at making it like a circle, right? Oh, let me do a little, maybe, let me do it like this. So we got the circle. We want to try to grab that town hall. Got to know where the queen is, royal champion is, okay. So now if we make, if we cut into, we got sweepers covering the town hall. So this would be a little awkward angle. Maybe if I land right here to take the town hall down, um, that could be good. Let's see, can we do that? That's the question. Let's do the hound from here. Oh, hound's going the wrong way. So if the hound's going the wrong way, I got to adapt, right? So let's see here. I'm gonna have to freeze the sweeper here because it's gonna push my blimp. Oh, boom, boom, and land. Okay, we landed. Okay, so now let's adapt on the fly here. So we're gonna go ahead and try to take all this down. Oh, the tornado trap is on the other side over there by the town hall. So down all that goes. We're getting some nice value. Now they're gonna lock onto the E-Dragon. Take that down in like a shot. And let's go and drop another invis. And down goes the queen. Okay, so now where's the enemy world champion? She's on the other side, so Let's go ahead and actually drop like a baby dragon here, drop the king. And we're gonna charge our way in towards this eagle artillery. We got balloons coming over. Let's do you over here. Let's do a wizard. Let's do a queen. And hopefully they make their way into the base. We got a poison spell as well. And super wall break this corner. So what that's gonna do, so we think about this, this is the chunk that we took out with our blizzard. Now our hero chunk, right, is simple, right? We're just gonna now extend that coming from the edge moving our way over to the Royal Champion. And now where am I gonna send my RC? Well, why don't I just send my RC to go for the scatter shot so then my Lalo can easily come in from the edge of kind of where that blimp is. So let's pop this King ability. Let's send that RC. Make sure you drop cleanup, minute 40 left. All right, so let's go and start this Lalo, moving our way through. Boom, drop the Warden. And how many balloons per defense? Typically three to four, one, two, three. Granted, this is a weaker base, right? So it's not not like oh my goodness what is going on super easy and we'll go ahead and drop some more balloons nice and around you can drop some free spells like on a wizard tower uh queen ability will take out the enemy rc headhunters will go for that enemy king drop a haste pop the warden ability protect the balloons king still up but like i'm not i don't i don't want to be like hey guys this is like obviously the best attack strat obviously works really well in low legend um but this is hopefully still even though it's a weaker base Hopefully, it's basically helping you guys with the fundamentals of what I look for when I'm doing my attacks. Create that wedge. Have your heroes come in from one side of it or the other. If you um, don't take out either the queen or the royal champion, your heroes, your king and queen, must go for either the queen or the royal champion. So your headhunters go for the other. How about a ring base? Well, we got to think about the town hall. We can't reach it with our blizzard so you either land it into here which is going to be really difficult to try to do if i can actually circle it properly that's gonna be really hard or you land it 
to get some nice value like an eagle, but there's probably gonna be a tornado trap here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to land it right here to take out all of this and see what it does and then go from there and see what kind of value. So let's go and drop the hound. And you'll notice that I dropped the hound from an angle and oh, let's see if it survives this. There's a sinking air mine there. Okay, blimp, 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 come on and bam. Okay, didn't have to use any free spell. So perfectly, we're landing into here. I had to do another invis, okay? We've taken the eagle down, we're taking all this down. All right, we activated the town hall. Let's try to make it so the cool... Oh, drive bomb! Hello! Okay, they went a little bit too far there. Okay. Um, well, now we got the king over on the left side. Royal champions over there. But we're going to send our king and queen over this way. So what we need to do is find a way to get to this town hall. So the king and queen are going to go here. I'm going to send my RC over here and try to get them to go into the core. Is that possible? We'll have to see. We're gonna drop a baby dragon like this. We're gonna drop a ice golem through here. Drop a royal champion like this. Um, wait, my king, he beat through the wall there. Uh, okay, super wall break this because my queen's not walking her way through, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's go and drop a wizard. He's going for that wall. Um, okay, king, 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 what are you going for? Let's go and pop this king ability. Where is this going? Out comes the CC, super minions. Gonna poison you up. We got one invis. Uh, super wall break now uh, which is a little bit too late. Uh, let's go and do an invis for the RC. Her ability was forced. Okay. Well now I don't have the path to the town hall. So now what we have to do is we have to lalo into the town hall which is not fun. Okay. Queen's continuing her way through. Okay. They're making... Oh wow. This is getting some actually crazy value with the queen ability. So let's start the lalo now um, as we push our way through this base from down here and around. Uh, wardens coming down, some minions as well. Boom, okay, we're finding the red air bombs. So we're flying our way through. Let's go and drop a haste. More balloons down and around here. Headhunters, and freeze this town hall, queen's ability. All right, so these balloons are gonna path their way through here. Freeze again as we continue our path through. Try to set, try to take out the enemy RC. Let's freeze the town hall one more time. And let's go and drop that haste. I think I already pulled that tornado trap. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I was right. It was right behind that eagle artillery. So I obviously didn't get that town hall, and something I don't recommend is try to uh, lalo into it. But you can see what I tried to do. I tried to funnel the top side to push my queen and king to the town hall. Granted, I didn't have enough wall breakers, really, because I needed to break a couple walls. But it was okay in the end. Ended up helping path balloons straight in. Let's look at the town hall. We've got the town hall that is right here. We want to try to get this value, right? Let's make a circle around the base. And we got enemy queen, enemy royal champion. If we were to fly the blimp into here, we have an air defense, air defense, air defense, air defense. So we could drop a hound and then a blimp could come here, take out the town hall and grab all that value. Let's do exactly that. Lava Hound comes in, blimp through. I'm gonna drop just a few balloons to come in behind. Maybe like pick off an Archer Tower or two. And let's just see, here's the blimp and let's do the Invis, Rage. Oh, that was close. Okay. All right, let's go and do another Invis here because the, what's well, gonna happen if I don't do it, then the uh, Barbarians will pull out the CC and, oh, they did, okay. It looks like it was some Valkyries. Okay, so let's go and do a last Invis I got. I go to the town hall. Can they take it down? One more shot. Bam. Okay. They took that down. And now where are we going to drop it? We're going to drop our kind of king and queen from the edge that we did, right? So this is the chunk of the base that we basically took out with our blizzard. Now our heroes come in from the edge of where the blimp got. And we push our way towards the other hero of importance, which in this case is the world champ since we took out the enemy queen. And how do I take out this multi? Well, that's where I'm gonna send a trailing royal champion to go for that. Let's go and drop a queen over here to help assist the king. Making his way through. We can go and drop a super wall break, why not? To break the wall open to help uh, the king through there. There's a tornado trap, not worried. I'm gonna pop the king ability after the bomb tower so that the bomb tower doesn't affect the barbarians there. And once this grand warden altar, well, I can actually drop it now. She should go for the grand warden and then she should make her way to the multi. Oh, she might not actually. She might go to the wizard tower. So that might have been a little early. Uh, yeah, that was that was my bad. I should have waited. I like I told you there. Okay. Either way, where's the other sweeper located? Well, the other sweeper is located this way, pointing over to the bottom. And let me go and super wall break down here, so the queen could step into the middle into that multi. Let's pop the RC ability uh, if we like and drop some minions. Okay. So we got a minute 15. Got to start the lalo, but I'm gonna come in 
from basically a hound and go for this multi. So I'm going to do a lava hound here. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do that. I'm going to drop a haste and then a freeze. And then let's do another hound. Boom. As we kind of fly our way through, drop the warden. Queen's ability takes out the enemy king and that. So let's go and freeze this. Let's go and haste. Drop some minions around. We got two balloons for down here. Let's go and freeze this up again. Headhunters will just be clean up at this point. And like I say, you definitely want to start your Lalo about a minute 30 left in the raid. The reason why I started it so late, one, because of drawing, but two, also because I can keep it a lot more efficient. I can just casually move my way through. Plus, I got so much value with the Blizzard. The Queen is even still up, so this base was absolutely destroyed. I know these bases weren't the best bases, right? The best and strongest, but hopefully the diagram and kind of the explanations really helped you guys, and hopefully it helps you when you do your Blizzard Lalo attacks as well. But hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content. See you guys tomorrow.